All right, so yesterday I opened up our office pool on uh, Trump's Georgia indictment, but I did not give you my predictions on what's going to be happening. Um, question number one, is Trump going to surrender? Obviously he will. He's you know, gone to court for the other three indictments, so I have no reason to think that he won't turn himself in for this one. Question two. Question two, when is Trump going to turn himself in? Uh, my prediction, uh, I did share this one, is going to be August 25th. And this is going to be at, um, I'm going to say, 1 in the morning. He's going to try to avoid the press on this one because, you know, this Fanny Wilson, or Willis, is trying to, you know, humiliate him any chance that she can get. So he's going to go in early and avoid the circus. So he's going to turn himself in once again, August 25th at 1 in the morning, uh, local Georgia time. Uh, question three, out of the uh, 19 defendants, who's going to turn himself in? Uh, my prediction, the first one to go in is going to be Kenneth Cheesebro. And I have no reason to think this other than that. I just wanted to say Cheesebro. Speaking of all the co-defendants, how many will turn themselves in? I'm going to go with 17 out of the 19. I think the two holdouts are going to be Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell because they are stupid. And I think they're going to have to be brought in by the police because they are that stupid. Uh, question five. How much is Donald Trump going to have to pay in uh, bail money to stay out of jail? I think they're going to set it at a good $500 million. Okay, so if you have any predictions, you want to get in on our office uh, pool for George's uh, Trump indictments, just put your answers in the comment section. This is the last day we're going to do it because, once again, the deadline is August 25th, and that's, that's a week away. So we're going to keep monitoring this. We're going to see who turns himself in and who doesn't and what happens.